Hey guys, I am Aziz Lokhandwala and he is my friend and my bud. Uh, we have seen a lot of comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, and so here we are giving a prime number retake. We, uh, we will also give the composite number theory too that is composite conjecture in the next video. Uh, before that, uh, let me give a start to this. So now, uh, my friend will introduce himself before the introduction to theory. Hi friends, I am Janmay Bhatt and today we are here to overcome your comments. Now my friend will introdu introduce the prime conjecture. So guys, uh, here uh, as you know that many uh, many works are done regarding prime numbers. Means uh, like uh, Ramanujan's prime, Riemann's hypothesis etc. Now let me not waste too much time regarding the introduction. Uh, before that I will give you some illustrations regarding the prime numbers. Uh, that is suppose you are taking the prime number 11 and mu then multiply 2 by 11 and subtract the previous prime number uh, if uh, you are not getting a prime uh, then the multi then multiply then subtract the number before the previous prime number uh, from that 2 into 11 uh, and you get the result as a prime now let me take another example that is 19 now multiply 2 by 19 and subtract the previous prime number uh, which is not equal to prime. Uh, now again multiply 2 by 19 and subtract the number before the previous prime number which is also not equal to prime. Now the last weapon to use in this case is the pole point uh, which will be discussed further. Before that let me give you a further introduction to the conjecture. Now let uh, let me show you that how the conjecture works suppose you are a, you are having a function which which uh, is given in the screen means 2n prime minus tn minus 1 2n prime minus tn minus 2 and 2n prime minus pole point now before the before giving the further introduction to the function let me give you some uh, introduction to variables which will be used further in this video let a is equal to first prime gap b is equal to second prime gap and n is equal to prime number belonging to a and n prime be the prime number belonging to a and b both suppose we are considering equation 1 that is 2n prime minus tn minus 1 and if the result is not equal to prime then jump on to the equation 2 and if this time also you are not getting a prime then use the last weapon which is pole point the pole point will be introduced to you my, by my friend Janmay Bhatt the pole point is like our last weapon so you can use the pole point in third equation before using first and second equation. So as Aziz discussed that you have last weapon pole point that is third equation. But first go through first and second equation. So now there are two formulas for finding pole point. Here one is the basic pole point and x is our variable pole point. So as discussed a and b are prime gaps and x is the pole point so you cannot consider the equation as the average of both equations 3 and 4 that is x is not the average of a and b so here a and b are positive difference gap for example we take 2 and 4 as prime gap that is 1 and 3 as 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so you may think that this is not logical but we can generalize this theory also. Suppose we can write the prime sequence as 2, 3, 5 can be written as 1 plus 3 plus 1, 7 can be written as 1 plus 3 plus 3 and so on. Here you may see that 1 is repeating even time, 1 is repeating odd time, then even time, then odd time. Means you can generalize this but it breaks on 29 and the prime number which are having the unit digit 9. So we can generalize this as 1 plus k plus 1, 1 plus k plus k and so on. Here k is the x which was taken in the previous page. That is x is our variable pole point and k is also the variable pole point. But note that it is not important thing to decide pole point. You can decide them by before discussed the logic. But if you want to apply above equation, then the equation itself is dependent on the prime gap. That means you can use the function which was given in the first slide. Now my friend will introduce some of the examples and rare examples of the pole point. 
uh, hey guys i am aziz lokhandwala and uh, i will give you a rare example that is 29 on which this 1 plus k plus 1 1 plus k plus k break note that equation 1 and 2 fails on the 29 number you can also use the function and check it uh, now suppose you are selecting a prime number uh, that is 29 from domain capital p which is the domain of all primes now using the conjecture you are using the conjecture but in indirect way uh, as my friend have discussed that two equations x minus 1 equal to n and uh, x plus 1 equal to b you uh, you will get 3 and find that both equations now uh, subtract 3 from the uh, by uh, multiplying 2 into 29 means that is 58 minus 3 that is 55 so you have to add 3 or subtract 5 means uh, 2 into 29 that is 58 plus 3 that is uh, 61 and 58 minus uh, 5 that is 53 you are getting a uh, prime number in both of this case now you can follow the method for such rare examples now uh, here on the screen are some shortcuts uh, to find the tn and snth term now if k is odd times then use tn is equal to k into 2n minus 1 plus 2 if uh, k is even times then use T, uh, 2nk plus 1. Now for Sn, uh, if Sn is equal to Kn square plus 2n, if k is odd times and if k, uh, it, uh, Sn is equal to Kn plus Kn square plus n, if k is even times. Note that on combining uh, uh, about two equations, uh, you can use the method, uh, but you must know that k is occurring how much times. So here my friend will uh, Janmai will uh, give you some uses of this theory. You have seen this theory very well, but there are very interesting uses of our theory. This theory can prove the Raman, uh, Raman's hypothesis and it can be used in Raman's zeta function and in various other mathematical equations. Note that uh, graviton is one of the uh, use of this theory means this conjecture uh, the emission rate of graviton is uh, based on the prime numbers means it is following the sequence of prime number uh, this particle is the, uh, declared as the hypothetical particle because it's, uh, its existence is not proved yet but if you are knowing the sequence of, pri of this prime numbers you can find the emission rate and hence